to MathMind. This is a special edition with Number Sense UIL. In this collection, I will be talking about Number Sense, what it is, um, and all of the strategies that you can use in order to ace this competition. So the letters UIL stands for University Interscholastic League. And this is a competition that runs from fourth grade to high school. We train students with different skills and number sense is just one of those skills. There is a particular time in the year where all of those students who are trained will be competing with each other on the skills that you were taught. This is a sample number sense test. You have 80 questions in 10 minutes. It is timed and there's no showing work. So every answer that you put down has to be the final answer. So here are some very important rules with number sense. It is not the same as other tests. So for students who like to compete in number sense, you really have to understand the rules in order to be able to have a chance at winning. It is not difficult, but you need to be trained. So one of the rules is that there's no erasing or writing over numbers. In a number sense test, you cannot bring pencils into the test. It will be in pen. So once you have written down your answer, that is it. Rule number two, skipped problems. Again, the test has 80 questions. For every single question that you get correct, you will get five points for it. But for those questions that you don't get correct, you will get four points for it. And if you skipped any questions from the first one that you started to the last one that you attempted, you will also get deducted four points as if it was incorrect. Another cool rule is that every 10th problem is an estimation problem. And my advice for any students who are competing in number sense is to at least attempt the 10th problem, even though it looks complicated. It is an estimation. That means that they're going to give you a range of different answers compared to those other questions that only have one correct answer. It will not tell you that it's an estimation problem. But the writing, the typed um, visual will be a little different. So they'll either be bolded or they will have an asterisk beside them. Rule number four, money answers must be written correctly. Rule number five, Fractions must be in reduced form. Improper fractions are okay. And there are no extra stray marks or, or extra zeros are not okay. And that is it. So that means that when you are competing in number sense, you must come up with a strategy. Your goal is actually not to complete the entire test. We know that there are some very rare individuals that have completed 80 questions in the 10 minutes, but I can tell you the majority, maybe 90% of competitors do not complete all 80 questions. Don't skip too many problems in between. So for every single skipped problem, you better look at the next three to see that you can solve those next three. If you are completely stuck and you do not know how to solve the next three, then go back to the ones that you skipped earlier on and try to figure those ones out rather than moving forward. Learn some of the tricks to learn all the tricks if you can. So with number sense, it's important that you get coached by a number sense coach and actually practice the problems. I always equate math to some type of sport. Your teachers can teach you the skills, your coach can teach you the skills, all he or she likes. But if you don't practice those skills, you never get good at it.